Hey everybody, happy Sunday, let's go. Uh, today I am going to be talking about commitment and I am going to be coming on here at 9.30 every day. So make sure to tune in at 9.30 a.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Uh, e er, uh, Eastern Standard Time. Um, but yeah, so commitment is something that is extremely important when it comes to success because if you're not committed, not much is going to happen. Uh, the definition of commitment is the state of quality of dedicated to a cause or to devote oneself completely. So every single minute of the day, like Sundays as well, I am devoted to um, greatness and success just in general uh, because if I am not, then I am making a decision to be average. It's one or the other. So you can either make a decision to be average in life or you can go for greatness. Um, Grant Cardone used the analogy of Tony the Tiger how he kept on always saying, great, you know? Uh, you know, for the commercials, he called himself great, like, all the time. And you know what? Like, a lot of people know that slogan um, pretty well. So uh, that company was committed to greatness as well. Um, hey, uh, Amira, Tim, Aisha, Altea, uh, Sama, how's it going, guys? Um, so one thing that I have learned is uh, about, uh, let's see here, two months ago, Brandon Dawson, uh, he has a company that he grew from nothing. Um, he, he actually lost the company earlier on, but he learned a lot of lessons along the way. He grew a company from nothing and sold it for $151 million, 77 times EBITDA. Uh, thank you, Amira. Uh, so he has a lot of credibility. He's worked with uh, thousands of business owners. And uh, two months ago, he told me straight to my face that you are not committed. And at first, I was just like, I didn't, I wasn't really mad or anything. But when I heard that coming from him, I, I, something snapped inside of me. And I, I realized that a lot of things were not where they were supposed to be, first of all. I wasn't following my intuition, um, which is a lack of commitment to my, my, like, my spirituality and my commitment, just in general. And then I wasn't committed to success. I wasn't executing. And the definition of execution is very interesting. It means to follow through on something, but it also means to kill which means to get done, to actually absolutely just, you know, get, get out of the way, to kill, execute. Like Once I got that in my head, I started executing on everything and I started getting a ton of things done. My calendar started filling up. My calendar started becoming in 10 minute increments to a T. Um, so it's very important to have that in your head. Um, and I, I go to the extent of, um, which means to kill or to close, to finish, you know, uh, Whatever task you're doing, you want to finish that. You don't like if you're trying to make calls. You're gonna to want to make sure that you execute on it. You kill it. Like you just you get it done. Uh, so that has really helped me just knowing that. And I've heard it from Grant in the past, but I didn't actually take it seriously. And once Brandon told me that I'm not committed, that it was a, a huge slap in the face because I was telling myself that I was committed, and I was basically lying to myself. Um, so again, commitment means to devote oneself completely to something. So whether it's a relationship sales, uh, you know, uh, a commitment to your spirituality, to God, um, whatever your beliefs are. Um, it means to completely commit to something, devote yourself completely. Um, so I hope this is helping you guys. Uh, I'm glad that you needed to hear that. I, a lot of people needed to hear that, including myself, honestly. Uh, that was just, that was a huge slap in the face, but every, everything turned around kind of at that point. I all of a sudden got a speaking event in Dubai. Um, now I'm going a whole different direction in life. Um, I'm moving to Miami. That's that's a commitment right there. I already put in my notice uh, at my apartment, my 30-day notice. Um, so it's already like it's already executed, you know. So I had that in my head. I executed on that. I had a I had a thought, and then I executed on it. One thing that um, I learned at the last boot camp. Here's some information I can give to you guys that I paid five thousand or two thousand dollars for, which isn't that much, but um, so. When you have a thought, everyone has a thought, right? You're either going to take action one way or another. And it's your level of commitment to greatness that's going to sway you one way or another. Either you're going to have this thought and you're going to take action the right way or the wrong way. It's black and white. You're either going to go the right way or you're going to make the decision to procrastinate on it or not do anything. That's also a decision. Or you're going to execute on it with speed and get it done. It's going to be one way or another. So it starts with everything starts with thought. You take action, then you get a result. Thought, action, result. Thought, action, result. So you always are 
having we're always having thoughts in our head, right? Um, and it, we get it. We would make the choice. Luckily, otherwise, we'd just be robots if we didn't have the freedom of choice um, to make a decision one way or another. Uh, so I just wanted to share this all with you guys. And I'm like I said earlier uh, in the live, I'm going to be going live at 9:30 a.m. Central Time, 10:30 a.m. Eastern Time every single day to add value to you guys. I really want to help you. I, I want to get you guys to the next level. Uh, so anything that I can do to help help you, just uh, DM me, um, and I'll make sure to eventually answer it. Um, but yeah, so another thing I was I was gonna say too is you aren't committed unless you're pu you're pushing time, energy, and money towards it. So and it doesn't always have to be money, but you're at least gonna have to put time and energy from it. So from the minute that I wake up. To the minute I go to bed, I am learning sales. I am learning how to make myself better so I can make other people better. You can't help anyone if you can't even help yourself first. So you always have to start with yourself first. We're, we're kind of taught to not be selfish and like all these different things that are put in our head. Um, that's my job too is to get you guys information that is not average because we're brainwashed into the average way of thinking. And then no wonder 72% of people live paycheck to paycheck. 68% of people are disengaged at work. Uh, and most people get depressed, uh, they get low points in their life, no wonder, you know. Uh, and actually there's a direct correlation with disengagement at work and financial illiteracy. So most people aren't taught how to manage their money or anything like that. So uh, you're welcome, Altea, you're welcome, Aisha, you're welcome, everyone. Um, and yeah, Sama, I want to see what you said here. That is what I told myself today, I have to commit, yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing, Sima, is we have to commit. And then an hour from now, I'm going to have to recommit again. It's not a one-time deal. You have to always commit yourself to be recommitted every single, every single day, basically every single hour. You have to keep on recommitting and putting that time and energy into what, what's like important in life. And literally, I, I've learned this from Grant, everything follows commitment. So you have to commit first. And you have to also make a decision on something. So for me, um, I made the decision not to be average, and I, I made the, the wealth decision, which means well-being, and which also means that I'm going for greatness, which also means what I write down in my goals every day, that I'm going to help billions of people, inspire billions of people, get people to the next level in life. Um, so... I think that's pretty much all I have. If you if you missed any of this, please rewatch it. There's a lot of value that I just shared. Um, go rewatch it. Take notes on it. Um, I, I've gotten all of this from a billionaire mindset. Everything that I, I say is from Grant, or for the most part anyways, um, besides for my story. Everything that I say is uh, a billionaire mindset. And he also not only is a billionaire, but what is actually important is he he's donated over $100 million to charity. Um, he's very connected with the spirit, God. Um, he also has a 10x relationship. He has a, a very good, um, very very great kids. He has a really great relationship with his kids. They're amazing kids if you've ever met them. Get to meet them because it's very impressive. Um, everyone thinks that if someone's a billionaire or wealthy that they don't have time for their kids. That's not necessarily true, and that's not what 10x is about. Um, so... One last thing I'll share with you guys and then I'll um, end this is get everyone around you committed as well. So like your family, you, you, want, your, you want your family to be committed as well because if, if, they, if they don't, if they aren't committed with you, you're going to have problems because the people that you surround yourself with is literally the person that you become, whether it's good or bad. And you choose who you surround yourself with. So it's a choice and it's a decision. But... Literally, I've, I've had people around me saying, you're work, working too hard. Um, why, why, why is money even important? Um, all these different things. And it's just, it's just, I mean, you know, like, but it's the way, it's the way people are raised. Like, like I said earlier, 72% of people live paycheck to paycheck. 70, 68% of people are disengaged at work. And a lot of people are depressed. I don't even know the percentage on that, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been depressed in their life. Um, but get everyone committed around you. So like your family, you want them to be committed to um, your goals and your success so you can help more people. Because if you have people like hitting you and banging you on the head saying, you're working too hard. Alex, slow down. Why don't you spend more time with us? Um, why are you doing this? Like it, they keep on like pushing it, pushing back at you. 
Um, that's because it's the way they're raised. It's a reflection of themselves, always. Anything that anyone ever says is just a reflection of them. And um, it's just one of them things that, it, it's one of the hardest things to handle, but just get them on the same page with you and tell them your intentions with where you're going because there's going to be people probably talking to them and telling them the wrong thing. The people that matter in your life, tell them your intention. I've gotten my mom on the same page so far, which is amazing. She is fully on board. She supports me. She actually comes to my events. She pays for the events that I have. Insane. Um, so that's amazing that um, she is doing that because that's her choice. But anyways, yeah, get everyone around you committed. Uh, commitment means to vote, devote oneself completely to uh, uh, action or task. And um, make the decision today to become wealthy because if you become wealthy, it means well-being, first of all. It doesn't mean you have to have all the money in the world, but become wealthy in every area of life. That's what 10X is about in your, your uh, spirituality, your health. That's important, right? Your family, um, uh, uh, your uh, relationships, like with your spouse, if you have spouse, with relationship with your kids. So get committed today. Make that decision today. Make the wealth decision today. Or you can make the decision to be average, but make sure to get a shirt that says, I am average. Make that commitment and make sure you're committed to being average. One or the other. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a in the middle type thing. All right, everyone, have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed this. Go rewatch it if you would like. Uh, and I will be doing this at 9.30 a.m. Central and 10.30 a.m. Eastern time uh, every single day. I'll be adding some value to y'all. All right, have a great day.